I've been girdling Hass avocado trees with uh, good results, predictable results, for some years now. The results being inducing flowering and fruiting in a, a certain part of the tree or on a certain limb. But with other varieties, non hass varieties, the results have been unpredictable and variable. So let me show you what I've gotten and I'll try to figure out why. Now this is a tree of the Helen variety and I girdled this tree <clears throat> because I wanted to induce flowering. It just wasn't flowering very much. It doesn't seem to be a precocious variety. It's taken too long. And so I girdled a main limb and uh, it, it worked. Uh, there's, there's lots of flowers, flowers all over. We'll see about the fruit set, but flowers all over. So this experiment with Helen was successful, I'll say. Um, this tree next to it here, this older, bigger tree is a lamb. I girdled this tree because I wanted to manage its alternate bearing. I, lamb has a tendency to produce a lot one year and nothing the next. And so I wanted to see if I could get it to produce uh, a moderate crop every year. So here's the lamb tree from a different angle. And maybe you can see that on the left side, there's a good amount of flowering. On the right side, there's little to none. That's what I had hoped to create. So no flowering over here. I'll girdle this side next year, or this year, for flowering next year. And then I'll, let me show you the flowering on the side that I girdled last year. So here's the side that I girdled and um, you can see there's a lot of flowering and uh, fruit set is showing. Uh, so I would say that uh, so far it looks like this has been a success as well. Less successful however is my girdle on this tree. This is a, a variety from Australia, just a numbered variety and um, now, I didn't girdle this side, so no flowers, fine. But I did girdle this side. Almost no flowers here. Barely any reaction. And so I would say that's a, a failure, right? Let me show you my girdle. There's the girdle. Um, what's the problem? This variety doesn't respond to girdling like others? Did I girdle at the wrong time? I don't know, but I didn't get the reaction that I wanted. Similarly, actually even more extremely, this is a Charwill tree that I girdled same time of year as all the rest of the trees, the very beginning of November around Halloween. Um, and uh, essentially no reaction. There's essentially no flowering on the girdled side of the tree or anywhere else. Um, I'll show you the girdle in there. There's the girdle behind this little sprout. I mean, you can see that the girdle induced a bunch of sprouting, <laughs> but it didn't induce the flowering that I intended to induce. And so, what's the problem? Does Char will not respond to girdling like the other varieties. Do I need to do it at a different time compared to Hass, compared to Helen and Lamb? Um, do I need to girdle in a different way? I don't know. But um, the lesson I just take is that uh, the same kind of girdle at the same time of year doesn't work on all varieties and so uh, I'm going to have to fiddle with timing and maybe some other uh, factors related to girdling non-Hass varieties. In order to get this, the flowering on a girdled limb of Hass and this, the fruit 
on a girdled limb of Haas from a previous year. That's what we want.